really warm sunny day today it's what we've been looking forward to so my peppers my tomatoes are all back outside for today keep your eye on them though if you're doing this because they'll soon dry out in a greenhouse at the moment these look perfectly fine things like your onions and your spinach and your lettuce you're better off putting outside when it's too warm because they'll soon start to shrivel up and your onions could also bolt because they've got too hot so they're going to be going outside for today we had a bit of drop in temperature recently it was quite cool at night so it was fine to have them in this greenhouse but as it gets warmer you need to start and move them slowly outdoors but not your cucumbers your tomatoes or your peppers they're perfectly happy in a warm environment just don't leave your spinach in your greenhouse because that'll be gone before you know it so once again we're doing that taking things outside if we don't we're going to end up losing plants today i'm going to start off my cherry tomato plants and because we're doing a lot of container gardening this year we do dwarf ones and these ones are called cherry falls the plants grow quite small but that also depends on the container you put them in i've had them up to this height when i've grown them previously but they can grow as small as six inches but they're a container or basket variety so they'll not grow very tall but then they will tumble down outside of your containers or baskets and you get loads and loads of little cherry tomatoes i'm going to put a clip on uh, last year when we we're harvesting these so you can see the sort of results that we were getting but just from the packet you can see that you get quite a lot of tomatoes from these plants only problem is with any type of dwarf tomato is that the seeds don't seem cheap and you don't get many you usually get about 20 seeds in a pack but if we can get them all to germinate that's a lot of cherry tomatoes more than you'll need so that's the plan for today and there's an average of 20 seeds in these packs so I just happen to have one of these trays that holds 20 individual plants they're a good size cell but they don't take up a lot of space and you're not using a lot of compost so to get your little plants on the way that's a really good option to do and then of course later we'll plant them on once again I'm using sieved compost as well this is very dry today can't believe how warm it is in this greenhouse I've got a jumper on I don't need it for the first time this year I could just have a t-shirt on but we're definitely not going to complain about that so sift compost because you're using quite small seeds so we'll fill them up and then we'll compact it down as well because when we take these little plugs out we want that plug to stay together it's so much easier to transplant them then. and I'm just going to use one of these little six centimeter pots because they're perfect for just squashing this compost down if you've not got another same sized container this helps out and when you finish doing these seeds take the tray indoors to germinate it's still not warm enough overnight for these seeds to germinate so filled it up we've topped it back off now we can sow seeds and hopefully we have got 20 and I'm going to give this compost a good watering because it's very dry so just to make sure we've got loads of moisture in here so fingers crossed let's see if we've got 20 seeds don't forget to flake tops of these packets otherwise your seeds could get trapped at top and then you're going to lose some there does look to be quite a few in here to be fair So we might just get the 20 we're after. That's going to be plenty for all season. But look how small these seeds are. Tiny little tomato seeds. So let's quickly get them in here before we drop any. Just trying to pop them as central as I can. So because there's not many seeds, obviously I'm just going to do one seed per cell. Unless we get more than we thought then I might just drop them a couple of extra ones in so we've definitely got 20 seeds and I have got a few left so I'm gonna drop an extra one in a couple of these cells that's just gonna help 
double chances of getting germination. So that's good, an average of 20 seeds. It looks like we've got 30 or more. There we go, that's all the seeds in. So what I'm gonna do is just carefully poke these down with a pencil, but I don't want to go too deep. Just a couple of millimeters will be enough. Make sure they don't stick to your pencil as well if you do this. That's happened before. So that's all them seeds in. We've pushed them down deep enough. And then I'm gonna lightly cover them with that colander as I always do. I want these little seedlings to be able to push through as soon as they can and we'll get them on the way. So for me, this is the best way to do it. A very light dusting of compost. They're all basically covered now. I'll just run back over the top of that just to even it out a little bit. And that's as 20 Cherry Falls plants all set up. A very light watering after that. And we'll get those tucked back indoors. So another worthwhile Saturday morning job to get done. Potentially 20 Cherry Falls dwarf tomato plants on the way. And now we'll take a look at what happens once these plants have germinated and we've gotten to a good size. And also a bit of an harvest. Cherry Falls are perfect tomato plants to put in containers and hang in baskets because they cascade as they grow. And one plant can produce up to 80 fruits so that's quite a lot, especially in a small area like this, if you're growing three plants. So what better thing to do on a nice sunny Sunday morning, except set yourself up with a container that's gonna give us sweet red cherry tomatoes all through season. So now we can get some tomato plants in. We've got quite a few left and they're all pretty much the same size. And if you look closely, you can see that they're starting to produce buds to make flowers already. And they're quite small plants. And I think we'll easily be able to get three in this container. So I'm just making a bit of a marker. I'm just keeping them away from edge just a little bit. But hopefully what's going to happen is that they're going to grow and just cascade from all sides. So we're round about there. I think it's going to be fine. And same way I always do. Same size pot makes this job so easy and we've got a perfect sized hole so let's get one of these plants in nothing wrong with roots they're very wet because we've had them in a bottom watering tree because it got quite warm in greenhouse so we'll pop those in just push them down a little bit i don't really need to bury these any deeper because they've not become leggy so I just want to get them nicely firmed in and I'll take off those little bottom leaves there. They're not going to do anything there. And that gives us a bit more clearance between that compost and this plant so they're not getting damp all the time. It also makes it a lot easier when we decide we want to water around the base of that plant. So we'll do the same again. Very easy to do. They've not got extensive root systems yet, but they are starting. But once we get them in here, they're gonna grow a lot faster. So same as in and firm down. Pinch off those bottom leaves. You see just how easy it is to do this when you pre-make that hole. Finish those off again firm that plant in. So three really nice looking cherry fall tomato plants all set up in the container now. And I think we're getting to the last for his cherry falls now as well. So it's a case of take what we can, maybe make some more sauce up. But after all that waiting, we can't turn these down because there's still loads on them. They're going to be really nice and sweet those. But I've said it before, they've been brilliant plants. We're definitely doing some more Cherry Falls next year. So I've took most of those off and surprisingly 
so there's still loads on it that's virtually ripe. We'll be coming back to those in a couple of days and get in yet another harvest. So there you go, you can see from that video that once they got to a decent size, we moved them on into a planter. And even though it's only quite a small planter and small containers that we put them in, those plants did amazing. We was getting cherry tomatoes all the way through summer and into autumn. So cherry falls for containers or baskets, small space container gardening. If you've not done those before, give them a try this year. And before I go, thank you so much to Ian Williams for making a donation to the channel. We massively appreciate any donations we get because it helps us to continue to make videos all the way through here by providing us with seeds, compost, trays and pots. So thank you so much for that Ian, massively appreciated and very generous of you. So as we go into April, we're going to be doing even more things and at some point we'll also be moving. So if you want to see where we're moving to and what we're going to do, please hit that subscribe button. Press that notifications bell. I look forward to seeing you then. Enjoy your Easter weekend.